One of the things we've been hesitating on actually tackling is this fireplace. All right. It's one of the reasons that we love the house is this wood burning fireplace. But the inspector um, noted a few issues when um, uh, we originally had the house inspected when we bought it. And one of the things he said was that this crack between the hearth and the firebox was a potential issue. Okay, well I'm gonna agree with the inspector. Uh, the firebox is right here, it's very close to this crack, so when the wood is burning, you're gonna get burnt wood, you're gonna get embers that can possibly sneak into that crack. And just because I know how these houses are, f are framed, I know that the wood is very close, so if you do happen to have an ember or something sneak down into that crack, you're gonna ignite a fire. Mm -hmm. So you wanna be careful of that. I see. One of the things we were um, hoping with this project too is that it might be a good opportunity to upgrade the aesthetic of the hearth. Perfect opportunity to do that. Um, this material is called terracotta. It's very, very prevalent in this area in the time period between, say, 1910 and 1940. Uh, giving this a fresh update might be a positive thing. Great. All right. So the first thing I'm going to want to do, though, is get downstairs and look at the sub hearth to make sure it's intact or if it has a problem. Sure. Well, we can go right. take a look. Let's go. Okay, Mark, so here we are under the fireplace. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of things that I expected to see. The framing is proper. You can see that you have nice floor joists. They actually do some box out framing and return, return the joist into the house. But look at this. This is what the inspector was talking about. He was worried about this wood. It's usually pulled after the hearth is cured. So if this were new construction, we would form it up just as they have. We would mix concrete. We would throw it into the sub hearth. That would support our finished tile, which is the terracotta. And after everything was set up, we would come back and we would pull this form. The crack that we were discussing is right here. So you can see how close it is to the wood. That's no good. So once we're done and everything is cured, we're gonna come back down here and rip this wood out. And when you look up, all you see is concrete. I see. All right, so why don't we get started upstairs with the tile and then we'll find out what we have and we can get going. Okay. All right. So Ian, what I've given you is a three pound sledgehammer. This is a cold chisel. Look at that edge. So that's the cutting edge. And all I'm gonna ask you to do is come across this tile just like that, bust that out. I'm gonna have you start here because there's no joint. So that means you have a relief spot to go to. And once you clean this out, both of us will start going to any tile that we can get. Great. All right. All right, clean that out. You want to just go like that. Just keep it down. straight down. Yeah, okay, straight down. Try that. There you go. Great. All right. So now you removed one tile, that means you're gonna be able to go in any direction underneath the tile to pop it up. Okay. There you go. All right, went pretty easy. Really quick. Yeah. Last tile. All right, good news. The sub hearth seems to be in good condition uh, for a couple reasons I know that. Number one, this is just an old fashioned mud job which accepted the terracotta tile. I don't see any cracking. So that indicates to me that the sub hearth, which is the concrete, is in good condition. So the other way I can tell is when I tap, I just can feel how solid it is. And what I'm listening for is just to make sure there's no hollow sound. If there was a hollow sound, maybe the mud job is compromised. But I don't feel anything and I don't see anything, so it's probably time to get going with the tile. That's great news. All right, let's get going. All right, so what do you have there, 60? 60. All right, so we're just trying to find our center, which is 30. I'll go with the C, the center, and then a straight line. So to start the layout, all we do Get our two tiles up against the wood. So Ian, we ended up using a ceramic gray slate tile. Uh, I think it's an improvement. What about you? I agree. I, I love it. The proportions ma match um, our fireplace and uh, I love the color. Yeah. So that's what I think is great too is, is like you said, I'm glad we use something longer rather than shorter. Um, it helped with the layout. 
So we're going to set these in a running bond pattern uh, using the spacer so we get consistent joints. And all we're going to do is start from the front of the hearth and work our way back because that's where our cut was. For a running bond, we usually end up with half pieces at the end. So it goes half full, half full. And those are pretty easy cuts to make. And again, the important thing is going to keep the joints consistent, which is what we're going to use the spacers for. Notch side? Notch side, yep. You're doing it great. There you go. So the notches on the old grout really are going to benefit us because it's going to grab the new thin set that we apply, and it's just going to give a stronger base for the new tile. I'll hold your space. What I want to do is I want to dig out that crack because it's actually not part of the sub hearth. It's part of the grout from the old tile. So if we dig it out and make sure we pack it very tightly with this thin set, we're going to cover the fact that we did have that break. That's great. All right, so we've done about as much as we can do today. We have a couple other things to do. Grouting is one of them. Um, we have to wait 24 hours for that thin set to set up. Uh, but after that, you should be able to grout. You good with that? I think I can take care of that. Okay, great. The other thing we have to do is go downstairs. Remember that formwork that was under the sub hearth? Yep. To be code compliant, we do have to pull that. Um, but I want to wait about a week for everything to set up, get nice and solid. And after that, you rip that down then you're code compliant and you'll be ready for a fire. That's great. Well, we love the look of the new fireplace and the hearth and what it does to the room and, and uh, we just can't thank you enough for your help. Thanks for having me. Thanks. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. To make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.